Thank you, Mr. President. Um, it is humbling uh, for me to be carrying this bill today, and it's, it's a great honor and a great privilege uh, for me to have the opportunity to do this. Um, with me to my left, I have um, Ms. Uh, Mrs. Brian Derman. And in the back with me uh, today, I have uh, many of the police officers from Lexington who served in the academy, in the police academy class with Officer Brian Derman. And it is for them and for Brandy and um, for the honor and memory of Brian um, that we bring this bill to you today. Uh, I think each of us uh, who come into public service think about ourselves as giving up something, Mr. President, in order to make the world a little better. We think that our sacrifice is worth it because the people around us will have improved lives because of what we do. But the notion of men and women giving the ultimate sacrifice of their lives so that we may continue our own is something many of us, most of us, can't even contemplate. On, the, on April 29th in 2010, Officer Brian Derman was investigating a noise ordinance violation on the corner of Limestone and Alabama streets in Lexington. That night, he was killed by a hit and run driver. Next year, in April, on the fourth year anniversary, the fourth year anniversary, Mr. President, of his death, his killer will be eligible for parole having served 20% of his 20-year sentence. Under existing law, if a person kills another person and that offense, as violent as it may be, is classified as manslaughter two degree or reckless homicide, the defendant is only required to serve 20% of their sentence before parole eligibility and they can even be placed on probation. The maximum sentence for manslaughter in the second degree is 10 years, meaning that the defendant in these cases would be eligible for parole after serving two years of their sentence. Now let me contrast that for you, Mr. President. If Officer Derman had been only severely injured rather than murdered, his perpetrator would have to serve 85% of his sentence or eight and a half years to 12 years in prison. If, let me repeat that. If Officer Derman had been only severely injured, his murderer would have to serve 85% of his sentence or eight and a half to 12 years in prison rather than the two to four. Officer Derman's death is tragic, of course, and also senseless. What the current law dictates, I feel, is even more senseless, Mr. President. Senate Bill 15 seeks to correct this inconsistency and to mandate harsher punishments for those who harm those who spend their lives protecting and serving us. Every homicide, regardless of whether that death is classified as a manslaughter or reckless homicide, is a violent offense and subjects the defendant in these cases to the mandatory service of 85% of their sentence. There were concerns by many, uh, including I think this, uh, the Senator from Pike and some in this chamber, that mandating 85% service of time for all homicides may overload uh, our system and have unintended consequences. And so after working with groups such as the Kentucky Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers, I filed an amendment to the original bill that addresses their concerns while still providing additional protections 
to our police officers and firefighters and ensuring that those who harm these brave men and women while they are protecting us, Mr. President, are more severely punished. So with that said, I would ask uh, to please uh, be able to withdraw Senate Floor Amendment 1. That is my own amendment. Upon the motion of the sponsor and without objection, Senate Floor Amendment Number 1 shall be withdrawn. Senator from Fayette 12. Uh, Mr. President, Senate Floor Amendment Number 2 is an amendment that we wanted to add in order to include not just our public servants and uh, peace officers, police officers, but also to include our firefighters. Uh, so I would ask if we could uh, please report and adopt Senate Floor Amendment 2. Mr. Clerk, would you please report Senate Floor Number 2. Senate Floor Amendment Number 2 to Senate Bill 15. Senator from Fayette 12, your motion is now to adopt Floor Amendment 2? Yes, sir. I would ask for the adoption. Matter for the body is adoption of Senate Floor Amendment Number 2. Is there any question or discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Senate Floor Amendment Number 2 is adopted. Senator from Fayette 12. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, if there are no questions or anything, I would ask for favorable passage of the Brian Derman Act, Senate Bill 15. 